So James, is the mood in the camp being positive this week despite the result on Saturday? Yeah, we, look, we quickly moved on. We we know we have to, and I feel I'm saying this every week, but you come in, you get the players back on the, the training pitch and, and get them going again. And, and they have trained really well all week. They're, they've been bubbly, they've been bright. The experienced ones have helped the younger ones. And no, look, it's, it has been a good week in terms of training, but now we need to take it into Saturday. So what is your thoughts ahead of our growth this weekend then? Really tough game. Um, they, they'll be looking as a chance to, to close a gap, to come in and and frustrate and, and get our, our crowd, our fans on our back. We need to go out and do the opposite. We need to get that crowd behind us. We need to with real desire, real hard work and go out and, and get the, the crowd involved in the game and that's what we're planning to do on Saturday. How are we looking team-wise ahead of the weekend? Yeah, look, there's a couple that are, that are very close. They'll either be this weekend or next weekend. Um, but no, it was really promising today to see to see the group I actually says to Dave down at training when you, doing some real end stage rehab. You had Kyle Benedictus, Rhys Breen, Andrew Todd, Matthew Todd, Alex Jakubiak all all doing real end stage stuff. And I mean, you've got those. I think that was five five a name. When you've got those players out, then it's tough, but it's it makes it it's heartening when you you do see them down doing the the final stage of their rehab. And obviously, Kane Kane's ahead of them probably in terms of. Fitness wise, but he, he still can't have contact, so so Kane's looking really good as well. And no, I, I think it's a boost for the full group when you see the likes of, of those lads down on the training pitch. You have made one signing though this week with Chris Kane coming in. What's your thoughts on getting the, the striker in on one? Delighted to get him in. Like he's a, I think he ticks a lot of boxes for, for what not just our team, but the, the full squad and the building's needing. He's experienced, he brings others into play. He's played in some really big games not too long ago as well, where he was, I think, a key part in that St Johnson team that won the domestic double. So he's played in Europe, he's been a Premiership striker for a while. And the thing I like about, about Chris Kane at the minute, he's really, he's hungry and, and frustrated. To, to f The frustration's coming for, for his lack of minutes, which again, is out with out with our control. We can just bring him in here and get him going, and it will certainly add to the group. He's been excellent all week in terms of fitting in with the group and in training. And no, I'm looking forward to working with him over a longer period of time. Are you still hoping to add to the group, or do you feel your business is done now? No, we are still trying. Um, to say this this window does prove to be tough with the Premiership teams being able to loan out right up until the end. But no, we're working away. So it was great to, to get Chris Kane in. It's, it was one that the board went out and done done quickly um, and got him in. So no, we're still working away, so we'll see where we get with that.